love making fruit desserts in the summer, but it can be a little tricky to get the sweetening right and the thickening right. In this fruit galette recipe, I'm gonna break it down for you. The beauty of this recipe is that you can use any fruit for it. And what you're looking for is three cups. So for this recipe, I have berries. I have very beautiful blueberries, raspberries, and I have blackberries, and I'm just gonna use a mix. And then now I'm gonna add the sugar. The thing about the sugar is how much do you add? And I always say, think about how sweet your fruit is. If your fruit is on the sweet side, you wanna add a little bit less sugar and a little bit more lemon juice. If it's on the tartar side, you can use less lemon juice and a little bit more sugar. So normally for three cups of fruit, you wanna add between a half a cup and three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm gonna to go to the lighter side, half a cup. And then I'm gonna add the juice of half a lemon. Now, next question that comes up, how much thickener to add? Berries happen to have a lot of pectin. They will thicken up nicely with very little thickener. So again, for three cups of fruit, the range is between, say, two tablespoons and three tablespoons of cornstarch. So I'm gonna add a little bit less. I'm just gonna add two tablespoons. Now, I always like to add a little bit of lemon zest to the fruit. You don't have to, you can just skip it. What's nice about the lemon zest, especially with sweet fruit, is you're not just getting the tartness of the juice, but you're actually getting some of the perfume, which is really pretty. And now just a teeny pinch of salt, just enough to bring out the flavors of everything else. So this is your filling. Some other fruit that works really well for a galette. Peaches, plums, apricots, cherries are fabulous. You can use a combination. Now that's that. All you need is your crust. You can use any pie dough recipe that you like. This particular one is really rich. It's got a little bit of egg in it and a little bit of cream. And you know what? You can even buy the dough. I didn't say that. Pretend I never said that, but it's true. So say that you buy some fruit, and maybe it's not the best fruit in the world, your apricots are kind of bland. Well, you can fix that with this little trick. You take jam in the same flavor as the fruit, just brush it on the crust before you put the fruit down, and it's just gonna bump up the apricot flavor in the oven. Fruit goes in the middle. You kind of wanna mound it in the center. You could use a scraped vanilla bean right in there. That would be fabulous. Cinnamon. That's the thing about this. Once you know the basic recipe, you can just take it and do your own thing. This is the easy part. I'm just gonna fold this over. It can look very rustic. That's part of its appeal. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of egg wash on it to make it shiny, make it really brown. So I've got egg and heavy cream. I actually already used some of this mixture to make the dough. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle sugar on the crust. And what's great about white sugar is that it actually kind of melts and makes this really nice little crust. Bake this at 400 until the filling is really bubbling. And this is important. The cornstarch won't be activated unless the filling is actually bubbling and boiling. So if you've ever made a pie and you've cut it and it's been runny, it's probably because you didn't bake it long enough and it didn't come to boiling. So watch this carefully. When it starts to bubble, it's ready. And this is what it looks like when it's baked and cooled. It is a thing of beauty. And the great thing about this recipe is that it's so easy. You can memorize it, and then if you go on vacation or if you just feel like whipping up something without pulling out a cookbook, you can make this your go-to galette.